Hey everyone! In this video I'm going to show you how to do some basic line art. It's just an idea that I had and the more that I played with it the more fun it was and the more celebrities I wanted to do that is create line art for and I already have a couple done so I'm going to show you the technique that I'm going to use here. It doesn't matter which application you use. I'm using Adobe Illustrator. Any application that has a paintbrush or a line tool, a freeform line tool or a pen tool would be fine. So I've downloaded or I've gone up to Google and I've searched on celebrities and these are some of the celebrities that I picked. So here's some of the celebrities and I just grabbed some and pasted them right into Adobe Illustrator. So that was step one. Step two, arrange them, which I've done, just so that I can see everyone's face. Step three, grab the pen tool and start creating some line art. So let me show you what I've done here. I've put all of my celebrities, if you're familiar with Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator, you have this concept of layers. Some other applications may not have this, but just in case you are familiar with them, these are layers. And I've created a George and an Olga layer. And my celebs layer is my base layer that has all my images. So if I hide it, you can see that I've done some line art already for George and Olga. These are just individual lines that I've drawn for those two celebrities. So let me show you what I've done here, how I'm going to create more. So I'm going to move this image down to where I can see Taylor Swift in the view area on the canvas. And I'm going to grab the pen tool and I'm going to zoom up on Taylor so I can see her really well. Scroll over just a little bit. There she goes. And I'm going to start anywhere. It doesn't even matter. How about with the chin area? I'm just going to click and release and then click somewhere else and hold and drag until you can see how this tool works until I get the nice shape of Taylor's jaw. And then click in a different point and look that didn't really do exactly what I want because I made that other point so long. So here's what I can do. I can hold the alt key down and change that one point by grabbing its handle. I can change the arc, the curve on that one point just by grabbing the handle. And I'm going to do one more right there. So there, got her chin down. Great. Now I want to deselect. So I'm going to use the selection tool, click and then click off of somewhere else that's not my line. Click off my line, such as on the picture itself. And then come back and choose the pen tool again. And I can start drawing another area. So I think I'm going to maybe do her cheek. She's got a nice rounded cheek. Okay. And the line doesn't have a color, and that's okay. It's just because on the color palette, I mean on the yeah the, the color palette here, color panel, the stroke is not filled in. There is no stroke. So I'm going to click on the stroke and then black. And there's my stroke. So again, I'm going to deselect the line that I just drew and grab the pen tool again and draw another one. And I like the bridge of her nose, so I'm just going to click and drag and click and drag and click and drag until I get the nice rounded shape of her nose. And that one didn't work out so I'm just going to control Z to undo. Scroll in a little bit. That's okay. I'm just going to leave it right there. Deselect and then select something else. And by the way, that line is not black, so I'm going to go ahead and make it black as well. Okay, great. Deselect it, select the pen tool, and let's do maybe the shape of the nose some more. 
with the nostril. Just like that. Deselect it. Oops. Make it black. Deselect it. Grab the pen tool again. Now let's do the eyes. So click and drag to make a nice arc and click and drag. See how I'm doing that little angle there for eye? And I need to grab this handle here so I I click the, I press the Alt on my keyboard and drag the handle all the way back to the point. And that's so that it doesn't take that rounded shape when I draw my next segment of my line. Click and drag, click and drag. And so I'm, when I do this line art, the way that I do the technique, I don't close any of these lines and I make sure that they don't touch. It's just a technique that I like to do. And make that black. Uh, deselect. Select the pen tool again and then do the eye. So click and drag and click and drag. It's hard to see that. And so there's the basic shape of the eye. Make it black. Uh, deselect. Okay. And let's go down to the lips. Click. And drag, click and drag. Let me zoom up on this so you can see it a little bit better. And then click and drag. And there's the basic shape of the upper lip. Black, deselect. I'm going to do the middle of the lips this time. Grab the pen tool, draw. Maybe a line like that. Make the line black. Deselect. Grab the pen tool again. And let's draw the bottom of the lip. Click. Drag. Click. And drag. Make it black. Zoom out. So you can see Taylor starting to take shape here. Let's move this up a little bit. Got stuff in the way. My palette is docked. There we go. Undock it a little bit so I can move up. I guess I could have uh, press the space bar. Okay, if you press the space bar, it allows you to move everything around on the page or move the page over. Okay, just a little bit more. Bear with me. I'm going to draw her bangs. I'm going to draw them from this parting spot right here. Click, drag, click, drag. Okay, there's part of her bangs. It is black. Oop. I still had the pin tool that other line selected so I have to do that one more time. I'm going to deselect it, click off of it, then grab the pin tool again, click, drag, click, drag. Deselect, grab the pin tool, and by the way I should have made that black. Okay, deselect, click on the pen tool, and I'm going to draw a couple more of her bangs following this nice arc here. There you go. Black, deselect, choose the pen tool again. So you can see how I can start to get these nice little curved lines that represent the different parts of Taylor Swift. Let's move over a little bit. And we'll just do the basic outline for time's sake on this video. Pin, click, drag, click, and drag. So there's a decent curve. 
deselect, grab the pen tool, move down. I'm going to do the ponytail here. Click, drag, click, drag. Click, drag. Wow, that hair really goes down there. I didn't realize she had so much hair. Okay, make it black. Deselect. Oops, deselect. Grab the pen tool. Drag out some of these other points. You could get really crazy with this and really introduce a lot of lines. Okay, I'm going to do the ear and I think I'm going to call it a day. Make that black. Deselect it. Select the pen tool. Start on the ear. Click drag. Click drag. Click drag, click drag, and I'm not going to do anything past that. Now, let's see how it looks. I'm going to zoom out, and here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to select all of those lines that I just drew by using that drag bounding box, and then hold shift to deselect Nicole and deselect this picture of Taylor. I don't want them included in what I'm about to do. I'm going to right click and group all of these lines that I created so that they'll stay together. I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to call this layer, double click on it, call it Taylor. And I'm going to move all of these items to that current layer that I have selected which is Taylor. So now when I hide my celebs, all my images, you can start to see the shape of an individual uh, uh, take place. Okay, so that's how I've created my line art. If you want to see the others that I did, there again is Olga. And all it is is just a little bit of time and patience. And if you don't like the line you drew, just undo it. And you can take each one of these items and export it. You could, if you wanted to, create uh, one image, one set of line art, then delete the picture, and then just save the line art image. Okay, and you can use these on your website. I think I'm going to do a website with line art, and this will be a theme of sorts. So good luck. Enjoy.